we're going to go in to perm our eyes and I'm using Pro Longwear Concealer as always and this is just going to act as a base for our eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go in with Avon Precision Glimmer in the color Blue Flare. You guys can have the option to use this or to use some sort of blue pigment. This actually helped me out to just make the blue eyeshadow stand out a lot more. Now I'm going to be just taking some off with my finger just to make it a little bit more precise. After this, I'm going to be using the color Risqué from the Lorac Oula Lace Palette. And you can use whatever black eyeshadow you would want. This is just the one that was around and sometimes I feel like I don't use this palette as much so I just started using it. I'm going to be smoking my eye out as much as I can. It is going to get a little dirty but later on I am going to be cleaning it up in order to put the highlight in my eyebrow bone. But right now I'm just going to be putting a lot, a lot of dark eyeshadow in order to get that dark smoky eye that I'm going for. Now I'm cleaning it with a cotton swab in order to make it a little bit, a little bit more cleaner. I always use this, I don't have to be worrying about making it perfect. Now I'm using the BH Cosmetics Party Girl Palette and I'm using the color, the color that I found that was the blue tone that I liked. And I did spray some Fix Plus in order to get the blue that I wanted for this look. Now I'm going to go in with the color Sand by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I've been using this so much in order to highlight my eyebrow bow. Right now we are going to be using a blending brush in order to mix everything properly together. The trick to smoky eyes is just to make sure everything's blended together so that you won't have raccoon eyes. I like to blend, blend, blend and just keep touching up in order to keep that smoky eye that I'm looking for. So right here I'm touching up with the color, the blue color that I found in the BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette. So I'm just retouching up and this is how it's looking like so far. I am going to be using a baby wipe in order to just make sure everything is perfectly aligned. Now I'm going in with the color Black is Black and this is the gel liner by Maybelline, the Eye Studio gel liner. And this is how it turns out. This is obviously optional. I just did it because, you know, it was there. Now we're going in with Soft and Gentle and we're putting this on the corners of our eyes in order to highlight our eyes and just make it pop out more with this very dark smoky eye. Later on, I am going to retouch on the eyeliner just to make sure that everything looks perfectly aligned. And I did use a fluffy brush. I will be putting down a link of the eyelashes that I'm using. I did stack them up. I This is the first time I've ever done that. So if you guys can tell, I was having some trouble gluing them to my eyelid, but it happened. This is how it looks. Now I'm going in with the color Concrete by MAC and it is just the only thing I've been using so far for my eyebrows lately. And this is how I basically kind of do them. So I'm just shading them in with a MAC brush. I will list the MAC brush down below in the description bar if you guys are interested in wondering what I use in order to fill them in. And this is how both eyes look with everything put together. Then I'm going in with black eyeliner just to kind of make it a little bit darker with the smoky eye. And then I go in with the blue shadow from the Party Girl palette just to mix everything well together and make it look a lot more smokier. I did add Fix Plus in order for it to look a little bit more vibrant just because that's something that I feel makes it stick more and makes it stand out a lot more. And this is how it turns out. Now I'm going to go in and just curl my lashes. I almost did pull them out accidentally. I don't know why. But now I'm just putting on some mascara and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara that I use to blend them together. Now I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using for the first time the Chanel Matte Lumiere foundation and I forgot what color I got but I will be listing it down below. This is my first time. I actually really really like the application. It is a very light finish and it is very matte. A little bit, a little bit dewy I want to say just because my face is a little bit dewy on its own. So I am applying it with a beauty blender 
and now I go in with Pro Longwear and I will be using also Light Boost by MAC in order to get that highlight in. I will be highlighting a lot just because I like a very highlighted face, especially with a very dark smoky eye. And as seen in the picture from Kim Kardashian, she does have an extreme highlight below her eye. So I am going to be blending everything together with a beauty blender. This is basically how it looks now that it's all blended together. Now we're going to go in with a mineralized skin finish which is a bronzer by MAC and it is in the color dark. I will be applying this in order to contour my face. I did kind of do a very heavy contour especially because I wanted my cheeks to pop out so that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just doing a very 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 contoured face as well as around my neck just to blend everything together. Now I'm going in with a blush that I really really like. I believe it's called Sambesque or if you are a Spanish speaker, I'm going to say Sambesque just because I don't know how to pronounce it in English. <laughs> so I'm just putting that around my cheeks and then I'm mixing everything together just so that we don't have any harsh lines. And this is how it turns out. Now we're going in with the color Banana by Anastasia Beverly Hills just to make sure that we don't get any creases throughout the day with this smoky eye and around my nose as well just to highlight. Then we're going to go in again with the color dark which is the bronzer that I used just earlier on and I'm just kind of contouring my nose just to make it look a little slimmer. And this is how it's looking like. Everything's coming well put together. I love love the eyes. Now we're going in with the color stripped down by MAC. I've been obsessing over this lip liner it goes with just everything every type of color so that's the one that I'm gonna use just to mix everything together then for lipstick I'm using the color pink plaid by Mac and it is in the color like a kind of like a pinkish color and then we're gonna be applying a gloss on top of that Now for the lip gloss, it's by Nordstrom and it is called Gem Gloss. I love, love the application of the gloss. It is so not sticky and just, I love it. This is basically how it is without highlighter, without applying some highlighter on the cheeks if you guys want to leave some sort of a matte finish. But you guys already know that I'm going to go in and put some shimmer on my cheeks just because I feel like it puts everything together and it looks so much better. So I'm going to go in with the color Soft and Gentle. And I'm going to just be applying this just for some shimmer. And now I'm just going to be fixing my hair. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. But this is how it looks like, the makeup application. I love, love, love the application. Especially if you're going out with your girls or for date night or if you're going clubbing. This is just such a beautiful makeup. I love it. I, I love it. I can't wait to try it on myself for a special occasion. You can leave your hair like this or you can slick back your hair just like she did. I absolutely love this look. All I did was put a bunch of hairspray and just combed my hair back very nicely and it turned out just amazing. I am going to be trying this hairstyle with when, when I go out. Just I'm probably just going to curl it on the ends. This is how the makeup application is. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and the hair tutorial sort of. Um, you guys should try it. Don't be scared to try looks like this or hairstyles like this you know you only live once you guys so definitely try it and let me know if you guys would I absolutely love the application and this makeup lasted the whole night so if you guys have any questions make sure to tell me below and make sure to give this a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to click on this video if you guys are looking for some more tutorials